morning, morning, afternoon, good night, wherever you are in the world. How you loving? How you loving today? How are you, my darlings? This is Najami Lazama, aka Bushwoman of Bushwoman's Conversations Project. I am a personal development awareness life coach. I, the objective and uh, the message behind my brand, the development of my brand, because it's constantly developing, is to bring women and men together, especially those who are substance users or abusers, or users I should say, who are struggling with that. And in order for us to co-create healthier communities, we have to work on our dysfunctional selves, starting with self. Our dysfunctional shtick, the things that goes bump in our spirits, the things we struggle with internally on a daily basis. Because loving yourself authentically and genuinely is a process, and it's a constant process. Hey darlings, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm waving back. Okay, this wave not going through. So I am Najami Lazama. So being a personal development awareness life coach is very important to me because I am working on my personal development constantly. Um, I have evolved to a place where really I believe that everything is always working out for me I believe that help is always on its way I believe that great fabulous fantastic things are going to happen to me and I believe and I feel that money always flows to me easily and effortlessly now the other hat that I wear I'm also a substance abuse counselor I'm a KSAC too so I help clients or patients who are struggling with their substance abuse issues. So today's conversation is going to be about some remedies I'm going to talk about to help stop alcohol cravings. And if I'm able to get through the list here, I might throw in five natural remedies to control alcohol shakes. So I do groups, I counsel, I talk, refer, recommend, outpatient as you see back here I'm at work here today so uh, we only have one patient on the unit today three left yesterday one left AMA against medical advice uh, some people just really can't fight the jumbie the gin within to go through the process to get clean and getting clean is a continuous process so not just because you come to a clinic, a detox uh, place like this. I work here in Brooklyn at the Brooklyn Hospital Medical Center and we have a detox unit there so if you have any friends or anyone you know in Brooklyn who needs some help, let them come. We have a great detox, small unit, great staff including me and uh, so we do our best to provide care and service and I let them know that it's an ongoing process. It's, it's, uh, it's something that you have to, not when you walk through these doors, you're healed. No, some may need to go for a longer period of time, like a rehab, either 20 days, three months, six months, a year. There's those for longer periods of time. Um, I met a gentleman yesterday from Recovery Center of America. He wants to do a linkage agreement with us here. So. What drives people into losing control of their addictive states? I'm always very cautious of the word addict. I, I you know, I, I'm not a fan of the word. Um, I understand what it means. I understand how it's used in the context. I do believe, and I look at things this way, we all have addictive behaviors. Addictive behaviors to alcohol, addictive behaviors to shopping, addictive behaviors to pot, uh, heroin, oxycodone, addictive behaviors to sex, addictive behaviors to chocolate, to sweets, uh, starches, carbs, addiction to exercise. So saying that to say is that we have to find a balance. There's a balance. I'm not saying that if you 
have alcoholism that runs in your family, a lot of people do run in my family, that it means that you are going to become an alcoholic. But if you balance and learn how to really handle the addiction, not let it handle you, you're in control of it. You gotta know when to fast, you gotta know when to cleanse, you gotta know when to take a break. There are times when we don't wanna take a break because the voices in La Cabeza in the head is so loud that we use drugs and things to drown us out. We, we are stressed by living <clears throat> such hectic lives, doing two, three, four jobs, wearing four or five hats, um, struggling with issues, and sometimes people take, yes, drugs, alcohol, or even some medications for anxiety to calm down the ability to cope. So we gotta develop coping skills, and I, I'm all about solutions. I'm a solution-oriented type of a woman. Um, if you get sick with something, I'll find something to make. You know, um, like here, I have in my thermos here, um, I have some protein powder in there, some green powder, and my bush teas that I made. And there are times I throw in collagen powder in there, and I sip on that throughout the day. Uh, so I'm saying that to say that we have to develop some coping skills, some coping tools to help us through whatever processes that you're going through, whatever your stuff is, like a, how a carpenter or electrician or a plumber have tools in their toolbox. We have to be armed with spiritual tools and physical tools. Um, and spiritual tools are many. Coping skill tools are many. So for us to co-create, have healthier communities, we got to become more aware of our own stuff, our own shit. We got to look at it, own it, say, you know what, yes, I have an addictive uh, pattern or behavior. I like doing this. And we, a lot of times, are stuck in our ways of doing things. So I'm going to read here 15 remedies to stop alcohol cravings. I'm going to put on my extra pair of eyes. Okay, these are my old glasses here found. So let's, let me read some information here. I want to give some accurate information from, from some research that I did. So we all tried home remedies. Uh, some home remedies are very effective before going to the doctor. And there are times when whatever it is you're feeling physically has to be seen by a doctor. So I'm all for doctors. I go to get a checkup. I get checkup. Even though I call myself Bushwoman and I use my herbs and spices to heal my body, I go to the doctor every year, God sent. I get a total overhaul checkup. As I said, I check, get under the hood checked out, okay? I get my blood checked to see how my organs and tissues are functioning at its optimum level. And if it's not, I will take the right vitamins or foods to help that. Get a kind of color. Um, I just had a pelvic uh, sonogram the other day. Um, I get my eyes checked. I, you know, you got to go to the dentist. I have to make that appointment. Um, I get, you know, I just get a checkup totally. Um, mammogram coming up soon. So we need to do what we have to do. I know a lot of men are afraid to go to doctors. So again. Um, there's a, 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 a recipe here called like a steamy shower. Like steamy shower can clear up congestion or um, the old chicken soup remedy fixes everything. You know, you get a cold. But um, people who are struggling with alcohol misuse, as it's called, not so much alcohol abuse or alcohol substance use disorder, uh, may try... Some home remedies are also stop drinking alcohol. So in a perfect world, everybody is struggling with a habit. You know, it's true. Everybody's struggling with a habit that will seek recovery. All right, some people need to go see a psychotherapist or a psychiatrist, or some people need to take medications. But the stigma still exists, and some people are too embarrassed and ashamed to seek help. I tell my parents, uh, patients, that they're not broken. Stop seeing yourself as being broken. You are perfect in your imperfected state. Meaning that we have things to tweak. We got things to work on. If you see yourself as being broken, you see yourself as something is wrong with me. Psychologically, you are going to constantly beat up yourself. Your ego is going to lay landmine traps 
in your conscious and subconscious mind. And the superconscious mind, which is the God Goddess head, is trying to tell you that you're good, you're loved, I got you, which is the universe. So the superconscious can, you know, affects the subconscious, subconscious affects the conscious. So let's look at some tips here. So self care helps in breaking alcohol habits. Alcohol use disorder can take over a lot of people's lives and steal your joy and your fun and your health. And if you join the family fun, most likely you are drunk. So family events, barbecues, birthdays, holidays, a lot of alcohol, right? However, being stuck in that cycle isn't fun and it destroys your self-esteem. This is where shame, guilt, and all those uh, stuff comes in. So how do you break this alcohol habit? So one of the things is to focus on, which is a personal development awareness too, the self-care. Self-care. When you focus on the most significant thing that alcohol takes away from you, which is you, your self-care. You gotta stop and, and check it. Check yourself.